morning guys and uh, welcome to what I hope is going to be an absolutely beautiful morning. I'm here on the uh, lower part of Moyle Ebog, just above the town of Bedgellet and uh, it's currently just after 5am. Um, my idea is to go a bit further up Bed, up Mole uh, Hebog and get a shot of the valley down from Bedgellet all the way to Moyle Shabbat here. And so far it's a really nice morning, we've got some amazing mist in the valley already starting to develop. I'm not too sure how long it's going to last for, so I've just had a bit of a pit stop while I just uh, catch my breath. Just thought I'd take a nice shot here um, of the town and the mist and go up to Moyle Shabbat in the background. But I'm not going to stay here very long, I'm going to head, I'll start heading up now uh, and hopefully get a bit more further over the mountain a little bit so I can get a clean shot down down the valley. I've been eyeing this shot up for a long time and uh, decided today was uh, the day to try and do it. Better for worse, but stunning morning so far. So much cloud in the skies, about an hour before sunset, sunrise, sorry, and uh, already the colours are fantastic. So, let's go. Ah, use this gate. Okay. We're through. Coronavirus, wash my hands. Oops. I'm going to get banned now saying that. Uh, obviously you can see me, see me a bit better now. I'll point it that way. So, about halfway up, more of a bargain. You can probably just see the, the summit up there. And you ask yourself, well, do I want to go to the summit? And have I got time? And uh, I'd like to go to the summit, but is it going to offer me anything better than what I can get now? And the answer is probably not. Uh, I would, however, like to move a little bit across here so I can get a better angle with the uh, bed gallet in the foreground here down to more Shabod. So uh, I'm going to move up a little bit more and move to the right. And then, yeah, we're getting close. It's getting close to sunrise now. But a little bit of a fog bank, uh, cloud bank moving in. But there's a lot of cloud everywhere apart from where we are, which is really good. So uh, it looks like really quite dull over there, but over here it looks quite nice. So. We've got about 20 minutes now for an actual sunrise, so I want to get a jog on. Here I am, I found my spot, which I'm fairly happy with. Uh, I'm trying my best to sort of get that gallet lined up with more Shabbat in the background there. And then obviously, not obviously, but using the, you know, the valley. And I couldn't have hoped really for better conditions with the fog in the valley. I think it's just absolutely incredible. Um, and the sun's almost coming up with some clouds right in the distance there that are just catching but I really want to start getting some light into the image and hope so we can get the light in the image uh, before the fog disappears because that'll be just spectacular but it's going to be it's going to be close because we've got a nasty little cloud bank on the on the side over there which is going to which is going to hinder a lot of things but uh, we just have to sit and wait and hope that we get the light we've got the conditions down here in the valley just we ain't got the light at the moment although stunning as it is um, it, it, well, I know how, what it will look like as a picture, it will look very, very flat and dark, which is uh, less than ideal. So, hopefully, another 10 15 minutes. Well, guys, what a difference! 10 minutes makes. Um, I've taken a few shots here now and I've just had a drone out just taking a few video, a uh, bit of video footage. But uh, beautiful as it is, I'm not too sure I'm too impressed with the composition. I think the sun sort of dis 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 uh, distracts from uh, from the from what I'm trying to take photos of. It, it's only taking the sun to get very high in the sky with, the, with that cloud bank. We're only sort of now getting light 
on Moil Chabad and, and now the sun's at high. It is, it is a bit washed out, which is a shame. Uh, but the photos I have been taking. I'm gonna move down the uh, valley now, but I'll just go through what uh, what sort of photo I've been taking uh, thus far. So the image um, is at f16, and I've actually bracketed the shot, so I've actually taken an underexposed image to get more detail in the sky with a bright sun, a normal exposed uh, image, and just to get the sort of the overall picture, and then a over an overexposed image just to get some more of that details out of the shadows. Um, so. Let's just see how that turns out. Um, and I think I'm going to move a little bit further down uh, the hill here, um, just a little bit further across, and uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what that works out as. Even though it's an absolutely spectacular morning, I really struggled to make this composition work. I think there's a couple of reasons for that. I think one reason is that you know, you've got the town at the bottom leading up through the Misty Valley up to the mountain, which I think is quite a nice composition. But tied in with that, you've got the sun coming in from the right, and this sort of wide angle is actually taking at 50 millimeters. I think, it, I think it encompasses too much of the valley. It's too much going on. You could probably break these, um, this composition up into two or three shots. So what I proceeded to do next is that I went down the valley and got a longer focal length and proceeded to take some more tighter in crop photos. Well guys, uh, I've taken my hat off because actually it's getting nice and warm now. Uh, sun's... So what I've actually done here is I've actually zoomed in to uh, just under 100 millimeters, probably there about 100 millimeters, and I've actually took away a lot of the uh, you know the, the distracting elements within the image, as I before mentioned. So I really like how you know the um, you know the fog in the in the valley here just creeps away up towards here and you've got, I love this 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 um area and I maybe wish I'd seen this composition earlier but um still got the nice light sort of streaming from the right and um everything is kind of monochromatic a little bit which is fine that's just the image that it is um but the main element I think that sets us apart is the fog that's in the valley and now as the sun's moving around we are getting them streams of light going through, which makes for a, a more unique image in my opinion. So um, yeah, I'm gonna take this shot now. So again, I'm gonna be at F11, at about one over 60th of a second. Uh, ISO 50, yeah. See how that turns out. Just by using the longer focal length and moving down the valley just that little bit, I think this makes for a much more better composition. By the time the sun was that high in the sky, it really washed out the image in the landscape. So that's why I decided to go for a black and white image. I think it works really well and I'm super happy how it turned out. That's why I even broke out the 400mm lens and got some really close in, intimate shots how the mist interacts with the trees in the valley below. I really like this location and I think it's got a lot more to give. That's why a few weeks later I decided to return.
Welcome back guys. Back to uh, a very, very misty morning here in Beth Gellert. And uh, if you watched my last video, back in March, I was in the exact same spot, so I haven't gone very far. Previously in the video, last week I was up at Memorial Hebog, but now I opted to come down into, into Beth Gellert. And there's a couple of compositions here, like I'm going to redo some of the ones I did in the last video um, because it's in morning time and uh, last time I was here I thought that was a good idea and just oh, look at this mist oh man it's lovely it's lovely, I tried to get a composition up there as, as you probably saw, saw earlier in the video and I don't think it worked out very well but look at this look at this just above the mist, just slightly, which is, may cause me a problem, but anyway, I want to get this shot anyway and get set up for it and I'll, uh, I'll get back to you when I've got all the gear set up. Currently, got the uh, 24 to 25 on, shooting around about uh, 80 millimeters and um, I really love this spot here, as I spoke about it in the last video, you've really got all these layers going away and I think it makes for a really great image. Um, another image that I'd like to take and I'm sort of torn between the two, so it's, it's bed skeleton itself, shrouded in mist. And eventually, when the sun comes up, it's going to light up more of the bog and it's gonna, I think it's going to look really nice. Uh, but for now, I can't really ignore these conditions looking this way, I mean, it's just incredible incredible mist with pretty happy what a peaceful morning as well to be here oh anyway, I've got my uh, got my new audio so hopefully that sounds sounding quite nice now um, yeah Just sit and wait I think I've got something to eat a bit hungry yeah good happy to be here happy to be back I'm tired though it's now, uh, it's now half, 20, 20 past six, so. So, um, the fog is actually just, it's come in actually, it keeps coming and going, as you would expect. Um, and just while the camera was off, I managed to get some really, really good shots, which I'm really, really happy with. Um, but in the meantime, while I'm just waiting for the fog to clear, I just thought I'd just break out the, uh, the longer lens. I think this composition is, is just one of my favorites in Snowdonia. You've just got all, as I said before, you've just got all these layers of the hills going past and then at the very, very end, you're rewarded with the, uh, the top of Moyle Shabbat. Finally, an image that I can be 100% happy with. Taking out 105mm just before sunrise with the high level clouds on the horizon giving that early morning glow. I really love how the shoulders of the hills gradually get lighter as the fog in the valley below leads you up the mountain in the middle of the frame. Making these early morning heights can involve a lot of effort and more often than not can sometimes lead to failure. But it's all the failures that make taking a photo that you can be happy with all that better. I'm going to end the video there, so please like the video and subscribe as it really does help me. And if you've made it this far, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.